Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso here with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about how to protect your personal medical records. It's been an interesting year with many hospitals around the country getting attacked by cyber criminals. Now, you, as you all know, I always say that cyber crime is a human problem, meaning that you need to make sure that you've got your human firewall up and ready to go to keep you safe from these data breaches out there. But there is 1% of data breaches that occur when information is leaked to the dark web. When hospitals and other medical facilities are attacked, it puts you at risk and you have to take action in order to make sure that you are safe and secure. Now, if you like this video and other videos, be sure to like and subscribe so that you, and share so that you can keep track of the latest information that's going on as far as technology is concerned. Now, so let's talk about some of the major companies that have been hit with medical breaches. So Ascension Health just got hit recently. Same thing with United Healthcare as far as them leaking information to the dark web or being held ransom and then allowing criminals to leak that information to the dark web. Now, when you suffer data breaches or when there are companies that leak your information to the dark web, some are as dangerous as others. For example, if you were to suffer a data breach a few years ago, then information such as your username and password would be leaked onto the dark web. An instance with that would be simply changing either your username or your password and you're completely safe. The major problem with medical data breaches is that it puts you and family and your family at great risk. Information such as social security numbers, first name, last names, addresses, and your ailments can cause major problems. This means criminals have a full layout of you, your medical conditions, and with your medical information, they can create medical fraud that allows them to not only assume your identity, but they would be able to assume your identity and have procedures done and you would have to flip the bill. The other thing that you that is very scary about data breaches when it comes to hospitals and other medical offices is that in the case of Ascension, Ascension Health and their hospital network was completely shut down. Doctors were having to write orders by hand. People weren't able to get important procedures done because in our digital world, especially in medical, everything's done by computer. So if criminals hack into a hospital, then they're able to pretty much shut that hospital down. No different than the MGM Grand breach of 2023 where the MGM Grand was shut down. The other thing that occurs if a breach were to occur with United Healthcare, or which it did, it stops the billing process from patients getting their expenses taken care of because the system is down. So criminals realize the information that can be gained from medical facility breaches and you will, consent, will see the numbers rise. Also take in consideration that one in three people are affected by some sort of medical breach, which is very important to know that you need to find out what information of yours is leaking on the dark web so that you can do a better job of protecting your data. Now, criminals are on the dark web sharing your information, but you can stop that by at least 
getting some, won't say some TLC, but at least understanding what's out there and what you can do to protect yourself. So let's take a look and let me bring up a couple of sites that are going to help you keep your information safe or very, at the very least, make sure that you're aware of what's going on. Now, one of the first sites is actually from my friends at Cybersecurity Magazine. And let me get that up. Cybersecurity Magazine is like the front runner as far as all things cyber related. And I have to throw a little shout out for myself in there because I am featured on their podcast on a fairly regular basis. So getting back to Cybersecurity Magazine's website, which is at Cybersecurity ventures.com you can go to their main page and they have all sorts of information about what's going on one of the most important sites that you want to visit is cyber attacks that's right when you visit the cybersecurity's intrusion daily cyber threat alert site it lets you know who was hacked and the latest data breaches and cyber attacks and this shows this from a all over the world and it's a compilation of everybody who's been hacked so you can go to this site and see that there was a data breach uh, of a hundred and twenty thousand people affected the city of Helsinki Finland also too you can look at different uh, breaches that have gone gone on and what's important about looking at sites such as Cybersecurity Magazine is that many companies who suffer a data breach aren't always forthcoming with the information that has been leaked onto the dark web. Not all companies are like AT&T who had the decency to come forward to say, not only have we have been breached, here are the numbers and we are going to make sure that you have some sort of protection in the form of identity theft protection to make sure criminals don't take advantage of you because of our mishap. So you really have to build up your personal firewall and look every now and then to make sure that your information or a company that you dealt with has not suffered a data breach. And as you can see, there's a ascension warns of suspected cyber attack City of Wichita uh, had a ransomware attack and UK Armed Forces personal data hack and MOD breach. But that gives you an idea of some of the information that's floating around out there. And if you go to their site, you can see <clears throat> that many of these companies, either you missed it or haven't been so forthcoming as far as what is going on with breaches. Next is my favorite website to find out if your email or other information has been linked in a data breach and that's my favorite website have i been pwned.com now one of the challenges with have i been pwned is that it will show if your email was involved in a data breach but it doesn't necessarily show if your data was leaked without without an email if that makes sense so you can see, well, my email was leaked in a data breach, but that doesn't necessarily mean that other information wasn't leaked in a data breach. So with Have I Been Pwned, you can put in, and let me show you, an email address. We're gonna type in an oldie but goodie, an old Yahoo address that is no longer in usage. So we'll go here, type this in, click on the word pwned, and what will happen is that it will show that there was a breach, when it occurred, and of course the information that was compromised. Now, in a lot of instances, these data breaches that you find with Have I Been Pwned are breaches where it involved some sort of email. So maybe emails and passwords were leaked. Sometimes Have I Been Pwned will find actual breaches where your social security and other personal information has been leaked onto the dark web. So it's important always that you make sure that you're doing your due diligence to keep up with the data breaches out there. So we know what you can do to search for breaches, but how can you keep safe if 
your information has been leaked out onto the dark web. So let's look at some steps. So number one, uh, do your research and make sure that you pay attention anytime there is a letter or friends talk about a certain company has had a data breach. With medical, most companies are forthcoming. So pay attention to those breaches to make sure that you don't become a victim to some sort of medical fraud. Next on that list is that when you are looking at medical information, don't forget your fitness devices. Apple, I, well, I should say iWatches, if that's even, yeah, I guess they are iWatches, contain information in your iCloud account. Uh, your Google account can have your health information or just any other fitness app. You want to make sure that you're not sharing too much information because Criminals aren't only going after medical facilities, they're also going after fitness devices as well because they realize people store their personal information on those fitness devices. So yes, you can use them to lead a better lifestyle, but be weary because criminals can attack those devices as well. Also, to keep yourself safe, you need to be weary of any billing information that comes through. So if you get a bill from your provider and you maybe have a history or your family has a history of having procedures done, scrutinize every bill because sometimes criminals will use your medical information to try to sell that on to someone who's going to have a procedure and then you will have to flip the bill for it. And then finally, Keep track of your medical history as far as what medications you're taking. Keep track of all of those records, either in a PDF file or keep them on your Apple device. Because again, if you're securing your Apple device, you can keep your medical history on your iPhone or iPad. That way you know what's done. You know what medications you are using, which medications are being prescribed by you and you have a good idea what's going on as far as your medical is concerned. Now, one of the challenges, again, in the medical industry is that facilities and hospitals need that data as far as height, weight, everything personal about you to help give you the best care. But sometimes these facilities fall victim to cyber criminals. So you wanna make sure that you just aren't relying on that facility to keep your information safe, that you're taking steps to safeguard your information in order to make sure that criminals aren't taking advantage of you. With that said, if you've got comments or questions, leave them in the comments section below. Let me answer them all for you so that you can get a better idea of how to protect your personal medical information. Now with every video, my goal is to help you stay safe from cyber threats and to help you stay up on the latest technology out there because it's a confusing world. I love technology and I've read all the manuals and I'm serious about making technology fun, safe, and easy to use for everyone. So take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile and thanks for watching.